guys, I'm Rachel from Mrs. Rachel Brady. Mrs. Rachel Brady is a blog, a YouTube channel and a book club. Uh, I will link to all that stuff below so we can connect on there and also my social channels. I'm a mum of two, my son is eight, my daughter is six and I have another baby on the way very soon. Today's video is a what's in my hospital bag video. So as I speak, I'm 35 weeks pregnant. I'm 36 weeks pregnant in two days and I reckon that's kind of like around the time they say to kind of get sorted. I've been sorted for a while because I'm overly organised and I also feel like this baby is going to come a little bit early. I have gestational diabetes and we ha I have uh, had a conversation about maybe inducing at like 38, 39 weeks so we'll see. I'm having an appointment next week to talk about that and to have a growth scan and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's crack on. So what I'm showing you here is my hard roller kind of suitcase and my little backpack. So what I figured I'd do is use my backpack as like my handbag. It's one of those Fjall Raven Kanken. I never know if I'm saying that right. Anyway, um, so what I've got in here, what I'll have on the day is like my wallet, my phone, my phone charger, this camera that I'm filming on right now and a, and a big bottle of water and my snacks. So I thought I'd show you those first. Right, so I've doubled up on everything because obviously Adam will need to eat too. Like I say, I have diabetes, gestational, so it's all taking that into account. So I've got a couple of pepperamis each. They're like the kids' snacks that I've stolen. <laughs> um, I've got like a couple of Baby Bell things like in different flavors there's quite a lot isn't it but you know you never know how long you're going to be there for so i've got like six baby bell that's probably too much baby bell um i've got these protein bars absolutely delicious if you have gd give them a whirl because they're quite good on blood sugar count um so i've got again quite a lot but i just don't want to be sure of snacks if we're i mean i know this is too much <laughs> I just don't want to be under snacked. So I've got three different flavours, coconut and almond, peanut and chocolate, and salted caramel. So I remember that they do give me food, but they don't give Adam food. Oh, also I've got us both a packet of polos because you just don't feel that fresh, do you, when you're in hospital and you kind of not slept. And so that is my snack box. Now this case, if anyone's wondering, is from John Lewis and it's a really good, carry on size they have them in lots of different colors um and i thought it'd be perfect it's the perfect size for this actually adam was like oh my god we're not going away for like two weeks when he saw it but i just want to feel like i'm prepared and i've got plenty of stuff so my maternity notes at the top of the bag because obviously i'll need those on monday not this monday next monday is my next appointment and i'll need them at my midwife appointment next week but they live in here now I'm going to show you my stuff first and then the baby stuff. So let's have a look at this. This is brand new, not been worn, from Marks and Spencers. And it is a maternity nightie with a button down. I have looked all over the internet for something like this. I probably would have preferred it in like navy or something like that because for obvious reasons you might get a bit of... <laughs> I don't know, bodily fluids on there and stuff. It's not gonna stay this color for long. Obviously you can give birth in a hospital gown and the last two times I've done that and if I'm prepped for theatre, that will happen anyway. But I just thought I want to wear like a nice comfy, it's really light cotton, it's really, really cool. And you can feed in it after, even if I only wear that after, you know, and I can put something nice and fresh on afterwards. I've got that there, so that's that. Next, a bikini top to wear in the birthing pool. This isn't maternity, it's just like a Bowden bikini top. It feels really weird packing a bikini top and not bottoms, but obviously there's no point in packing bottoms. These are what I wore towards the end of my last pregnancy, so they're still going strong. The only thing I've got with these is they're quite thick and w overly warm, perhaps. Today it's gone really cool and it's actually raining outside. So if it was a day like today, it would be fine. But if it was a really hot day, I might swap these up for a lighter pair of PJs. Navy blue, um, it's not maternity. It's just a Jarma PJ, old PJ top. That's to go with those PJs. These pants, these are all old pairs of black pants because I don't want to get any nice pairs ruined. One, two, three, four, five pairs of old black pants. 
a few options for clothes wise i've got the softest most amazing i've not ended up wearing these much because it's been such a warm summer coziest maternity jogging bottoms that are like gathered at the end they actually look quite nice on so i could wear those during if it kind of things slow down and need to go for a walk around the hospital or anything like that or i could wear them afterwards i think i'll probably end up wearing those to go home in this is um a really nice asos long-sleeved maternity t-shirt which is also a nursing top so that would be really really good to throw on maybe with the joggers or as you'll see i've got some leggings these are maternity leggings that i got slightly ruined they've got like a bump over bump thing i got some bleach on them so they've got a few like bleach marks on but that's really absolutely fine to wear in hospital long gray t-shirt dress from primark which would be great to slip on over those leggings and come home in maybe not thought about the shoes that i'll probably wear to go to hospital i'm thinking these these are my like just new balance comfy trainers or a pair of sandals but either of those would work with these this is just a really nice shirt from next it's just like a big baggy blue cotton shirt which would look nice chucked over that it's just very hard to predict what the weather will be like if it's a scorching hot day i've packed this which is one of my favorite dresses on holiday it's just like a big baggy like loose broderie anglais black fat face dress uh, it's very loose so that would be great if it's like super hot and i've gone in with sandals i'll pack some sandals um like birkenstocks or something that would be perfect with that to come home in right so over here i'll just continue with my things and then i'll show you the baby's things so this is like i've got these um slippers and they're brand new i feel like kind of kim kardashian saving my brand new slippers for hospital they were like £12 in the John Lewis sale and I just treated myself to them. Um, how posh will I look slopping around the hospital in posh new, what brand new white slippers. So I've got some like slipper socks, slipper socks. I think it's going to be really hot on the ward but you just don't know. They are baby things. These are my toiletries. Let me show you my toiletries. I have emptied the bag out and I'll pack it all back up again. So baby wipes, not just for the baby, for me as well, in case I kind of can't be bothered to have a shower and I just want to freshen up. Um, that is an eye mask. Probably could do with a wash, actually. That <laughs> looks a bit grimy. It's a really comfy eye mask. Um, I don't know if I'll actually end up using that, but if I feel like I just need a little bit of a rest and there's too much light around me, then I could pop that on. That's just a headband for like, just keeping the hair, my hair and my eyes and maybe we're having a wash. Uh, maternity pads, um, breast pads, a bar of totally plain soap, uh, a bamboo toothbrush, little uh, tube of toothpaste, deodorant, don't usually use spray on, but they'd run out of roll on, so that's what I'm on at the minute. Um, this lavender room spray is really really nice. I thought I could spray the pillow with that maybe. Some iron tablets there. Um, I have some hand gel. <laughs> Face wipes. Oh look, I've got a mini deodorant there so I won't need that one. Let's get rid of that big one. I forgot I'd got that. Um, shampoo and conditioner. I don't think I'll end up washing my hair in hospital but just in case I want to. And a little moisturiser and a little face wash, even though I've got the face wipes. I think they were on like three for two at Boots. So that is my toiletry bag and it's all going in this like little overnight toiletry bag. Guys, I've just had a thought. There's no makeup in there, is there? Hmm, now that's a quandary. I don't know whether to <laughs> pop some kind of spare things in there in just in case I literally forget at the last minute to pop something in. This... Aiden and Anais blanket that my friend Karen bought me when I had Arthur I think so this is really old it's the best it's just like a huge muslin and it's so great for lots of different things this is a swaddle blanket from the grow company I think it is or one of those again this is one of the other my other children's from way back when um, I can't remember what happens with blankets in hospitals. I think they give you like a cellular blanket, don't they, for the baby? Anyway, I'm sure they do, but I've got some other things as well. I've got a couple, or three, is it three, one, two, I've only got two. Two muslins there. I love that uh, star print there from John Lewis. 
I've got nappies in newborn size, they're pampers. I'm sure that they give you nappies. I think they do in hospital. I couldn't remember, but I'm just gonna take some anyway. I have a notepad, um, which I've made a few notes in. I've started a birth plan in there. I'm gonna work on that again today because I've got hypnobirthing later and I'm going to um, just write down a few things in there. I've got my pen and going over here, I'm gonna show you now what we've got for the baby. So, I've got a little going home outfit, which is like a little stripy t-shirt and the cutest little grey dungarees, really, really sweet, and a couple of pairs of socks. I know socks fall off and it's silly wearing socks, uh, on, putting socks on newborns, and a little hat that I bought a pack of three, so that's probably what it'll wear to come home. Um, just in case it, oh, scratch mitts is there as well there i always forget about scratch mitts just in case it is a scorchio day i've got these this was arthur's oh so 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 cute um look it's got little marks on it but he won't mind if it's a really scorching day i'm gonna put him in a little one of those i've got a spare one here i think this was bees actually <laughs> so i've got a couple of options um you know, if it's a really hot day, I don't want him in a big outfit like that. So we'll see. We'll see. And I've got a few dribble bibs. These were from John Lewis. Everything has been washed. There's some spare socks. I have got three. Oh, have I got three? Just plain white sleep suits. And I think the age I chose for those is not to three months because I, I was a bit like, oh, it'd be quite big which we think he is so i've got one two three white sleep suits and i've got one two three little vests so guys i hope you found that interesting do comment below if you think i'm forgetting something like really really glaringly obvious i'm thinking of things now <laughs> Do you know what I'm thinking of? Um, a spare maternity bra. Just bought two new maternity bras. They are so good. They're from um, Marks and Spencers. I'll link to them below. They're the comfiest maternity bras ever. So I'm going to put one of them in here because obviously I'll be wearing one and I'm only going to be there for like one night probably. So there is a lip balm in my little rucksack and also there's some change in the front of that rucksack for parking and stuff, but Adam will have change. Makeup thing is worrying me now. Um, I think I'm going to write myself a note on my birth plan and make sure I look at my birth plan before I race out the door to take my little daily, because I have like a daily bag of makeup and like a big bag of makeup. And I'm gonna just take a note, put a note that I'm gonna take my daily bag of makeup. <laughs> That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and do comment below to say hi. That's all for now, bye.